In today's video, I'm going to share one of my favorite, favorite formations in Madden 21, specifically for the red zone and also for short yardage. Um, this is straight out of uh, our New England Patriots offensive ebook. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, my name's Cody, and what I do on YouTube is every single day I post Madden 21 tips and tricks, whether it be on the offensive side of the ball or on the defensive side of the ball. We try to help our community get better at the game as we are trying to also continue to get better at the game practice every day and grind every day we also stream every night at 10 o'clock where we basically answer your questions live and play mad and oftentimes with our subscribers so if you're interested in all of that content that we're going to give to you go ahead and click the subscribe button you know research shows that only 40 percent of the people that are watching this video have actually gone ahead and clicked the subscribe button it is completely free for you to subscribe it helps out the channel a ton and and if you don't enjoy the content, you can always unsubscribe at a later time. Now, we're talking today about the Patriot Heavy. Now, this is a very controversial formation, specifically from what it was last year. It's not as good this year as it was last year from a running perspective. I think it's a ton better from a passing perspective, especially with how um, with how much one step ahead and bench press and that kind of stuff that you're getting, as well as different blitzes and strategies like that that people are employing to stop offenses. So I want to break down kind of a mini scheme for you. This is just going to be a fun little video. And again, it's the Gun Heavy Patriot here. And I'm, I believe that it is really good with a hot route master quarterback. If you don't have a hot route master quarterback, you can still run this. I'll show you a couple plays. We'll start with that. Um, but I would recommend a hot route master if you could possibly get it. Um, so we're going to jump in right here. Now, again, if you want to get uh, kind of the whole offense that I wrote out of New England, we got an ebook out on it. That link's in the description. And if you want to get a free sample of the ebook, you can text me. My number is 812-216-3644. It's also in the top left-hand corner of your screen. All right, so Gun Heavy Patriot. And we on defense, you'll see here, I have these uh, kind of just standard uh, standard adjustments here. Uh, as far as zone drops and things like that. But we're going to show you uh, a couple different coverages, uh, kind of the meta stuff. Now, the play you're going to come out in every single play, if you want to run, is QB Blast. If you want to pass, then I would come out in Double Stick. Double Stick's actually really, really underrated. Um, but we're going to come back to that when we go to our passing. First, I want to show you the runs. So first and foremost, the runs, they're, they're kind of I think they're they're not necessarily glitchy, I wouldn't say. I would just say they're tough to stop because of the way this game works, it's if from an inside run perspective, you basically have to shoot the gap. With this specific run, it's really hard to shoot the gap because you have literally 10 or uh, 9 people on the line of scrimmage. And so and a running back right here so, you know, that's kind of why it's hard, in my opinion, to shoot the gap out of this. But literally what you want to do in the quarter, especially if you don't have, like, fast break. With fast break, this is better. But if you don't have fast break, which most hot rub best quarterbacks, I don't believe, can get it, you're just going to let the computer kind of glide you forward. And what you'll notice is this is like an instant three to five yards. Um, pretty much against any defense, it's going to be a fairly consistent theme that you're going to get that block right there from the running back almost every time. And you're going to be able to consistently move the ball forward. And that's what I love about this. This isn't like, it's not crazy. It's it's really not that crazy. Um, and you can playmaker this run in different directions. So, for example, if I wanted to make sure that my running back blocks a little bit better, I might playmaker this run to the right. And you notice that when I playmaker the run to the right, the running back kind of goes out to the right side of the screen. Now, if I playmaker the run to the left... You'll see here, you see how he's going to kind of gum more middle? That's going to help me with like picking up different users and things like that. Another quick tip that I really like to do is I love to playmaker this run to the right and then motion this right of screen tied in to the, to the left right here. This is going to really help a lot with the user rushes, the user shooting of this run. And really, we're just trying to average about three to five yards. With a faster quarterback, it's better. One tip about this is unlike last year. Last year, if you had fast break, and I haven't even tried this with fast break, you could cut like almost instantly. This year, it's not exactly the case. It's going to kind of almost warp you forward at first because it's kind of a patch that the game did to basically um, effectively kind of try to make this less effective. 
But in my opinion, it's actually still very viable because you can just follow your blockers forward. And I would recommend putting my quarterback on conservative if I was going to run this. But you'll see, I mean, it's tough. It's, it's tough to stop in the backfield anyway. Now, if I tried to go outside, you'll see here, see how it's going to kind of, see how he's going to kind of get lost and he's not going to go outside properly. That's something else that you have to be aware of when you're running this. So what you can do is you can kind of stop him. At basically what I'm doing is I'm clicking clicking back on the left on the um, on the left joystick to kind of stop him. But I would not try to go outside with the blast. The blast is purely a direct hit. Now when you audible to the QB power, this is more of an outside run, and you see it opens up. It opens up very well. If they're shutting down the quarterback blast. I would recommend running the quarterback power. And what I like to do is that same motion. It looks exactly the same as the blast, but you really liked, I like the playmaker, the, the power left, so that my running back kind of serves as another blocker um, for that outside. If you playmaker the, if you run QB power to the right, you'll notice your running back is always going to go outside and block that corner. So I think you get really good blocking on this QB power. Um, I, I think it might be a little bit, it's a little bit easier to shoot. Um, if they're if they're user shooting and i know it's hard for me to show you the user shooting but if they shoot with their user it's a little bit easier out of this but this offense really does a really good job against pretty much any um like nickel and dime type of set i think it's tough to stop i think it's tough to stop this qb power the thing you have to understand when you're running this is always if you're if you're about to get tackled with your quarterback just slide just slide so like if i'm coming in here i'll just slide you know, or I have them on conservative. And you don't need a fast what I what I want to stress is you really don't need a fast quarterback to do this. That's what I think makes it so good. You could do this with Tom Brady, right? You could do this um with Rich Gannon in Mutt. Uh you have plenty of speed. You don't necessarily have to have fast break. Will those two will those two things make this better? It probably would, but I'm good with just doing this. And the beauty of the QB power is, you know, again, you can use these different motions of players. So I could create a jumbo look on this left side right here and really power them. And you see, look at how good the blocking is from this. This is against one of the best defenses in the game. So my point is, if you want to run inside, like if you want to run directly straight, run QB blast. And you're going to literally run directly straight. Don't try to do anything other than that if you want to run qb power don't try to run straight you want to run you want to follow where he's already going if you don't he's going to do these stupid little cuts in the backfield and it's not going to be conducive to what you're trying to do okay what you're trying to do is you're just trying to get a couple couple quick yards and i think it's really good for short yardage quick base um quick base is really you know i mean i don't run a ton of quick base but if you want to run quick base, I would recommend motioning this guy right here. And this is a very tough run to use or to, to use or stop as well, especially when you use these motions. It's gonna it's gonna cause a little bit of an issue for the defense if they're trying to shoot it. And if they're jamming everybody in the middle to try to stop the quarterback quarterback run, you can run this quick base outside. There's a lot of things that you can do with it, but it is one of the runs that you have in your arsenal. Okay, now to the fun part of the video the passing from this formation. I think the passing from this formation is very underrated. Uh, we're going to go over double spick, especially if you have a hot route master. But the first things I want to show you is what to do if you don't have a hot route master. So a lot of people, when they play defense on this, they're going to do something like this. And they probably are going to use or this guy into like a hook, but they might Mabel coverage you, right? Something simple. Well, you'll notice that this is a really, really good play for something like that. The, the tight end spot I don't have to make any adjustments. I literally don't have to make any adjustments. I just call it. And what you'll notice is these corner routes are wide open against pretty much any defense that the defense is going to call. Whether it be cover two, cover three, cover four, it really doesn't matter. If they're in man coverage, you can lowball these corner routes because they get un unbumpable. If they're in zone coverage, you see I can wait till he gets out there. 
Another thing that's going to happen, you know, really what that's going to force the, the opponent to do is we're going to not allow them to Mabel coverage. The problem is if they don't Mabel coverage us, then you're going to be able to throw these corner routes late. You'll see this corner route to Gronk. Um, you, you can hit either your back or your corner depending on what they're doing. It becomes a very natural high-low read. So if they don't Mabel coverage, they're kind of screwed. But if they do Mabel coverage, they're kind of screwed based off of the alignment of this now i actually like to smart route gronk's corner out just so it kind of gives it a little bit more room to run on the sideline but again you can hit either your running back or gronkowski another play that i really like to use out of tight end spot is to use this little play right here so all i'm going to do is i'm going to take um, howard and i'm simply going to motion him to the right and what i'll do is i'll put him on a wheel route and then i'll put my running back on a swing route and then I might take my tight end and put him on a little drag route right here. So I have a high-low read. And this is going to pull their user a lot to that side of the field. And if they're not, if they're only playing like, even if they're double, if they're not double flatting, then they're going to be in a lot of trouble for this type of play right here. So you kind of hedge your bet with multiple different options um, with this. Another thing that you can do from tight end spot is if you wanted to, you could actually take if you have a hot route master, you could take your um, this guy right here, put him on a corner route, and that's going to be very effective because now you could basically drop multiple people into the flats, and then you could do something like a trail route on the backside or a post route or whatever it might be, whatever you might want to run. But this right here is really tough against zone. You see we have a, basically a makeshift screen against zone coverage. Now you might be asking, well, how does this do against man coverage? Man coverage should box this. There's really nothing over the top that you can do from this. Like, man coverage should take everything away. The reason I love this for the red zone is it's not exactly true. What you'll notice is on these little um, little corner routes, they actually typically will get pretty good separation against man-to-man -man coverage. So if the defense tries to run man-to-man, -man, especially if they're shading their coverages in different directions, the beauty is these tight ends don't get pressed. I think that's the most effective thing. And when they cut, you can basically, and I got to hit it right, you got to hit it like right when they cut. You can't throw it late. Like I was throwing it late right there. But if I throw it right on the cut, you'll notice that this right there, that's the animation that I want. And that's that's a that's a tight end. That's Cameron Bright, who doesn't have any great statistics against a cornerback. And you're going to be able to consistently do this on both sides, especially if you have Hot Route Master. And that's why I recommend Hot Route Master, because if you don't have Hot Route Master, just a simple tight end apprentice on this right side guy will actually kind of make everything locked up like really good. But you'll see now I can do it on both sides. And I think that is super powerful because the the it puts the defense in a place where they can't win. Their user can he can't cover both sides of this. He cannot cover both sides. So when you're able to set it up like this, this really does open a lot of windows for your offense. Another thing that I like to do um, that doesn't really require a hot route master is I love this little stick play. And literally all I'm going to do is take the running back and put him on a wheel route. And that's it. And I'm just going to snap the ball. And what you'll notice here is this wheel route will almost always be open against zone coverage. It's almost always going to be open against zone. It's going to be very difficult for the defense to be able to stop this, you know, really any zone. It doesn't matter what zone it is. And these little stick routes right here are really, really good against zone as well. Um, the one thing that that's kind of designed to stop is something like a cover two. So if they're running yellow zones then with this simple play right here i love these hitch routes but i like to um also like to um you'll see right here if i watch the, watch these guys you see how they turn them into hitches the one problem with those hitches is they don't do the little out and hitch and so a way around that is to literally just put the tight ends on five yard out routes i know it doesn't sound like groundbreaking but this is really good against someone who's running a lot of yellow zones if they're running a lot of yellow zones look I mean, it's wide, basically wide open. I mean, you're, you're going to be able to move the ball really, really well with these combinations and some of these simple things. Not to mention the delay fade, especially if you have a hot route master quarterback. I think this makes it super, super effective. You don't have to have one. But if you were to go against something like this mesh, uh, mesh sit, one of the other things you'll notice is when you put this guy in motion right here, you're going to notice that he is going to 
um, his route will sometimes stay. So, for example, if I'm running this play tight end, tight end spot, and I put my this guy on a corner, and I motion to the right, watch what happens here. See how he stays on a corner route in the backfield? I know it doesn't look like much, but I think this is super, super powerful. So you could basically do something like this. You could streak Gronkowski, and now this gives you that same flood, but look where now it's coming from the inside player. So you can be super, super creative with your route combinations. I think it's best to keep it super, super simple, but you can certainly do all kinds of things. Uh, one of the other things that I wanted to highlight is this mesh sit play. So you have two drags, and then you have this little um, little circle uh, kind of post-up type play. What I like to do with this is take Brait, and I'm going to put him on a post route, and then I'm typically going to block the running back or put him on a flat. One of the two, um, but most of the time I'm going to block him. So I have two drags, and I have a post, and I have a little curl route right here. And you'll find that these this play right here as a whole is super tough to defend, especially if they're usering over the middle of the field. So what they might be doing is something like this. They, you might see, you would definitely see something like this, right? They might run a lot of this coverage on you. This is cover two, basically. And so if you run this against cover two, uh, whoops, I, I call or I put the wrong guy on a post. You put this uh, Cameron Brake guy. You could, If you don't have a post route, you just put him on a streak. But you could put him on a post. And you run this against cover two. And what you'll notice is that tight end is going to get pretty pretty darn near close to open right there. I just threw it a little bit too late in the play. But he's going to have a shot against cover two or Tampa two. Like it's, 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 it's kind of there, um, especially if you use a flat route to that running back side. We'll show you this time here. But like right in that window, ah, shoot. Right, right in that window, once he gets between the corners, that's the window that I'm talking about. Tampa 2 is really the best thing they can do to stop this. And there's some things that you can do against Tampa 2, which we'll come back to in just a second. But again, there's that post route. There's that route right there. Now just watch the post route. And you see, you can kind of get that over the top. You can kind of get that over in that window right there. Um, if I had a little bit more... Um, if I had like gunslinger, I feel like I could get that in there a little bit better. We'll show it to you one more time here. So this is with the wheel route, so it might not work as well. But you see, ah, dang it, it's like so it's like so close to being there for me. Part of this is too. One of the things that you're gonna notice is a lot of times people will put their put their yellows at five yards, which is gonna make this even more open. Also, also guys, do realize you know a lot of times they're gonna use her this post route. And so your little sit route right there to Hudson is going to be wide open as well. But again, um, and of course, I, I keep forgetting to put that running back on a flat route. You don't want him on a wheel route if you're going to run the post. Like, you do not want to do that. But this is really, really tough. And like I said, if you want to get the full ebook, just text me for a sample. Um, this is just one formation. But you see, I mean, he kind of gets over the top of that yellow zone. Okay. So next thing I want to show you is, you know, just different things you can do against Tampa too. So another thing I like to do is I love to do stuff like this where basically what I'll do is I'll go to tight end spot. And let's say I motion, um, let's say I do something like this. I'll take this guy, I'll put him on a streak. And then maybe I'll take this guy and move him to the left side. And I can leave him on this little sit route right here. I know it doesn't look like much. But this little route beats every zone in the game, and it's so simple to run. So, 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 so simple. Next thing I'll show you is something like this. Now, I believe it's super powerful to have the flat routes to Howard. So if they're not covering the flats, these are really easy and very effective against zone. If they're not covering the flats, these are really, really good. The other thing that you can do is you could kind of highlight one side. So you could streak the backside guy. Maybe put this other guy on a delay fade here, right? And then I could take the running back, and if I have backfield master, put him on a Texas route. If I don't have that, then I could just simply put him on a flat route, a swing route, you know, really anything. But notice this right here. I mean, this seam read's not bad. The, the seam read's not bad at all. And so there's just, I'm just saying, there's so many opportunities with this offense. Um, this mesh sit has a really, really deep post route. You'll notice if I smart route this route, this is a really good route. So if I do something like this right here, 
And then I'm going to take Gronk and basically bring him over and put him on a flat route. So I basically have a nice little flood concept to this side. And then I'm going to have a little check down read on this back side here. This is really good for, for defenses that are playing, you know, underneath coverage. Because you'll see how far, see how this corner route gets over every zone? Like literally every zone, nothing's going to be able to stop it. And the other thing that you're going to have is let's say you run, let's say they run cover three on this, right? Motion over Gronk, smart route that corner route, Gronk's going on a, uh, a streak, and then Howard's going to go on a little flat. You got this little combination right here. This combination is super, super tough because of what of what um, what Gronk's route's going to do, that streak. And let me show you what I'm talking about. But if you use this streak to Gronkowski, whoops, I, I motioned over the wrong guy. And you could motion this guy over too. Um, you could do something like this, you know, basically just leave him on a flat. You know, I don't know if this would be the smartest way to run this, but you could do this. But what you'll notice here is, again, he's just going to run. That that break route is going to run wide open. And, you know, so again, there's just so much you can do from this. I don't want to take too much more of your time, but don't sleep on things like this right here. Like, I know it doesn't look like much, but that little route right there, like, you can snap throw that route. So if they're, if they're user on the right, you can really, I mean... You know, another thing that I like to do is things like, let's say I take a tight end. So let's say I have tight end spot, right? And I want to motion, and I want to do something with Hudson, right? Well, I could do something like this right here. And if I'm just snapping, you'll see snap, throw, real quick, real quick. And now they got to start dropping people. And when they start dropping people, it's going to leave them open and vulnerable to this run right here. Most people are thinking you're gonna come out and just run from this. I think the passing is actually really effective. Um, I haven't talked a lot about stick, but I love the hitches. So I will typically run like a crossing route with a hitch and maybe a streak. Like this is a super simple setup, but it's super, super effective. This little setup right here, you'll find, you'll, you'll, I mean, you will just get so many easy first downs with this. So this is the Panther Heavy. This is just a preview of everything in the New England ebook. New England's got everything, man. I broke down 36 formations uh, with over 300 pages, over 10 hours of video content, literally everything you can do from New England. So if you have not picked up the New England ebook, a lot of pro players, you actually notice, they're actually shifting to New England now. I think people are realizing how good it is. Um, it's the best offense in the game. It, it, it has literally everything that you need as red zone as running attack as passing it's just so deep um it's such a deep playbook and super effective this year so if you want to pick up the ebook there's a link in the description if you want to sample uh to the ebook there is a video that i developed for my text membership so if you haven't texted me be sure to text me so you can get that video my number is 812 216-3644. Thanks for your time. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you test this out. I think you'll find it's actually really, really effective this year. Thanks for watching.